Okay, so what we got here is, this is the beginning of the uh, combination nebulizer boiling uh, nasal rinse. So I got, <clears throat> wash my hands with soap, and then some good old alcohol on uh, a paper towel, which I will frequently refer back to with my hands to uh, sanitize. So here we are, the initial sanitization, a little bit of alcohol in there, just to run through it. <clears throat> and then, and a little bit alcohol out through it like that. Make sure it's all clean on the outside. Get rid of that. <clears throat> now this is <clears throat> a bottle of previously sterilized water. Um, this is going to go in the, the netty bottle. And, and then this bottle will be empty enough to then take, and we're just going to rinse that alcohol out with a little bit of this water. <clears throat> and that leaves us with plenty, plenty of water here for the filling of the nasal rinse bottle. And this is yesterday's boiling water for the nebulizer. So I can boil my nebulizer every day. I don't have to go, oh, I don't have enough water. I can just go, well, I'm gonna use this water for my nasal rinse anyway. So here's extra water. We put that aside for the boiling. And this is going to get heated up. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to boil my nebulizer in my syringe. <clears throat> when in distilled water, there we go. There's the distilled water. Just enough. And on the stove it goes, set it for six minutes, and that is when it will start boiling. And there's my neti, or my uh, nasal rinse, and of course a little bit of alcohol, which keeps my hands disinfected. Get rid of this paper towel because this is yesterday's. It's been around for a bit. And here is a fresh paper towel ready for the next round of nebulizer cleaning. <coughs> so here is the uh, oh, almost forgot. I need to have some some xylitol in there. Okay, so we've got, let's see, where's the other thing I'm looking for? Oh. Okay. So here we have a little funnel. And I'm just going to run a little bit of alcohol through it. A little more than I needed. <laughs> Cap that up. Use uh, a little bit of this paper towel. Should be okay. Yeah, I'm just going to set that on the alcohol towel. 
because that alcohol towel is just keeping all the bugs away. And then I'm not even going to touch this spoon. I don't know if you can see this. But I'm actually... The spoon stays inside the xylitol. The recipe here calls for two and a half <clears throat> two and a half teaspoons of xylitol and eight ounces of water for a nasal rinse. Not an exact science, so it doesn't really have to be, you know, perfectly level spoons. And you could even miscount and it'd probably be okay. Um, xylitol, what it does is uh, prevents biofilm or it inhibits the biofilm, just like it did in, in mouths. And the dentists found out that uh, people that chewed xylitol gum had fewer cavities. And so they started looking at, the or they traced that lack of cavities to the xylitol. And since then, CF people have been thinking about, um, you know, maybe that, or, or had thought maybe that would work in our lungs. And sure enough, it does. It's still in clinical, clinical trials, I believe. But <clears throat> I have taken to using xylitol in a nasal rinse. It is quite nice. Uh, it certainly makes all the hacking. And, you know, post-nasal drip is a, is a major issue with CF people. Um, so the nasal rinse, the, uh, the nasal rinse is a wonderful thing. I really enjoy it. And it makes our hacking and phlegm actually somewhat pleasant, which is a, a real switch. Uh, <clears throat> so we will put this in the microwave. Depending upon your microwave, uh, you may find different uh, amounts of time, but <clears throat> I think it's roughly <coughs> 55 seconds, I think, is where we're going to uh, get the 105 degrees or so that I like. <clears throat> Roughly. Take my netty bottle over here. We've got, we don't quite have boiling yet, but it's close. So here we are with the uh, <clears throat> first check on the netty bottle and the nasal rinse. I call it a netty, I don't know why. So here's my uh, temperature probe. I don't like to uh, just check it on my wrist like I'm a baby. So I actually want to know the temperature. I know, I'm a bit of a freak. So there it is. Um, wipe that off. Dump the thermometer in there. Okay, we're boiling and we're going for a five minute boil. <coughs> We've got 80 degrees on our netty bottle, and that means I need about uh, another uh, 20 seconds, I think, roughly. We'll just set that right there like that. And we're gonna put this back in the microwave. We'll just go back over here, carefully. Put, uh, hmm. I'm going for, you know, I think 20 seconds. So it was 55 and then another 20. So 
25 seconds on that. Uh, so I haven't quite figured out what is the perfect number of seconds with the microwave. Still working on that. <clears throat> and let's see. <clears throat> How'd that work? Definitely got a good boil going on. So this is this is working out nicely. This is, and you know, uh, the thing is, is with CF Health, it's so many things that you've got to do. It, it really gets to be a drag. So if you don't kind of, you know, figure out how to do it all in as little time as possible, it's kind of a kind of a bummer. So that's 75 seconds. It's exactly perfect for eight ounces of water in my microwave, which you know, who knows what 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 it's putting out as far as watts. I I couldn't tell you, but it's exactly 100 degrees, which is perfect. Uh, a little bit warmer is okay, I'd go up to 110, but, you know, um, 100 is exactly right. I like it. Okay, so we're done with that, ready to do the nasal rinse. And that is done. I'll put my nice funnel away where it can stay nice and clean, my thermometer. <clears throat> we're done with that. Okay, so now all we're doing is waiting for our, uh, and, and obviously the reason the 100 degrees is perfect is because I'm going to sit down here for another couple of minutes, and in that amount of time it may actually get to perfect body temperature, which, I don't know, maybe that's exactly perfect. Okay, so there's our bottle waiting for that. We've got three minutes to go on the, uh, on the boiling of the nebulizer. I won't uh, make you watch that entire three-minute countdown, though. There it is. Um, so here we are, and this is where I keep my, uh, this uh, little bin is where I keep my nebulizer stuff after I've used it, and it's now rinsed and waiting for the next day. It then gets rinsed off and tossed on this towel, and the uh, little thing put on top of it to keep it from getting too much cat hair on it. So that is how I do it. Nice alcohol soaked rag for or paper towel anytime you've touched something and you want to go oh let's kill those germs here you go you know so that way when I touch this no germs just there waiting for it at all times and yeah it's alcohol that somebody left here and I don't drink uh, a lot of alcohol don't think it helps but you know it certainly kills the germs really like it that way so, thanks for listening or watching, and uh, hopefully there was uh, some information there that helped you. Um, have a good one.